All right, today we're talking the cable crossover machine. So we're gonna go through all the cable crossover machine as well as all the attachments for it as well. So we're gonna start at the lat pull down. So the lat pull down is awesome for back development. So the first thing it has this knee pad. So if you pull out this lever, that's how you adjust the height for your knees. So if you put your knees under and then just let it fall and then click it to whichever attachment you're at, adjust your weight to the appropriate amount and then pick the attachment that you wanna put on. So with these clips, they're super easy to put on, on and off, okay? So for this one, knees are under, we're gonna lean back slightly and then we're pulling back, just squeezing our lats as we pull back. So we're using those back muscles. So this is the first one. If we move to the other side, the difference is one has one cable, one has two cables. So this works more for unilateral training. So what it does is it divides the weight stack between each handle. So if you have 50 pounds on, you'll have 25 on this side, 25 on this side. So you still can pull them both down together or you can do it one at a time. So doing it this way really helps with that unilateral training. So it evens out any strength and balances you'll have as you're using each side independently instead of both. So we'll move over into the seated pull. So the seated pull has the same. So this one has just the one attachment. So then again, same thing, adjust your weight from here, adjust your attachment, and then pull your feet onto here. You're gonna push your body back all the way, keeping that head and chest up nice and tall, and then we're pulling it in, focusing on just squeezing with those back muscles. Next, we'll move to the unilateral side. All right, as we move over to this seated pull, this again has the unilateral training. So again, it divides half the weight of the stack to each handle. So again, you can do the same thing as we did onto that side as we're sitting back pulling it. But again, we can just use that one side to really help isolate the muscles on each side to even out any strength imbalances. Because most of the time, you'll have one side that's stronger than the other. And when you're using both hands, again, usually your dominant side will do more of the work. So this is a great way to mix it up, to hit each side independently and strengthen both sides up. All right, next we'll move to cable crossover. All right, next we have the two cables that are in the center. So we're gonna show a cable fly. So we wanna make sure that they're all set to the same height. So there is numbers that are listed on this side and this side of the cable machine. So you wanna make sure that you have the same number attached. So we're gonna set ours to, let's go to nine. So to set it, there's just this yellow lever. So you're just gonna pull that lever out and then slide it up to the number that you want. What do we say, nine? And then it'll just clip right into there. And then from there, we can grab both handles making sure you have the same weight on each side, super important. And then we're just leaning out and push. So that's a cable fly that you can do. You can also do a reverse fly. So that's gonna hit more of the back of that shoulder. So for that one, normally you wanna go a little bit lighter cause those are a little bit weaker muscles. And then again, we're gonna do that same thing. So we're gonna cross arms. And then from here, step out a little bit, and then we're just pulling it across. So normally, sometimes if the handles get in the way as well, sometimes you'll have it where you can just hold on to that ball just to get a little bit better of a squeeze. But don't let it pinch your fingers as you put it back, because that hurts. Always be safe. Perfect. And then last but not least, we have the outside attachments. They're the exact same as this one. Um, that's, so those are what you can use for triceps. So we'll show you those next. All right, the last one is the end attachments for the cable attachments. So these ones are really good for doing any kind of like face pull or tricep maneuver because you have a lot of space here as well. You can also do the same thing in the middle. Um, there's a bunch of different attachments that we'll go over to what options are. So sometimes we'll do kickbacks and different exercises you can do with that. But it moves the same thing. We just have this yellow thing and you can adjust the height depending on what you're doing. So if you're gonna do any kind of like face pull, you can pull these out, bend those knees, pulling this up. You could also use it for a bicep curl if you move it all the way down to the bottom. So we're just holding on to that rope 
curling it. Normally you would use a slightly different attachment, but this actually works, it feels nice. <laughs> and then you can also use it for triceps. So if we go all the way to the top, slide it to here, you can also get that tricep as we're pushing this rope down. So there is two different sizes of ropes. This one's a little bit longer, so it works a little bit longer for those face pulls. There's a shorter one that's a little bit better for uh, the triceps as you're pulling it down. So also by each weight stack, there is these five pound increments. So sometimes the weight stacks go up in too big a jump. So if you ever need to add five pounds, but well you can't go up the whole, all the way to the next stack, you can just add these five pounds. They just slide right onto here, sitting on there. And then you just use the same thing. So that's just how you go incremental with each. Um, this is also a handle. So anytime if you're doing any kind of shoulder lat raise or kickbacks, this is what the handle's for because these get oiled, so it's not necessarily good to hold on to there to help them slide. Okay, next we'll talk about attachments for the cable machine. All right, lastly, we have the cable attachments. So there's a bunch of different attachments that we have over here to store everything that you can use on any of the cable machines. So first one we have leg wraps for you just wrap this around your leg and then you can put it onto the cable and that way you can do any kind of kickbacks, you can do forward extensions, anything laterally or kicking it inside. So it just hits all those little abductor muscles on those legs. Next we have a triangle. So this one really works good for triceps. So you'll put it at the top of the cable machine, reaching in and then we're just pushing it down. So it just gives you a little bit different grip and attachment. So again, like we used previously, another rope. So this one's a little bit shorter, so it works really good for those triceps as well. So you're gonna do that same thing. Also, if we flip it around, you can do face pulls with it as well as the bicep curls as well. Also a single rope. So if anytime you wanna do anything single-handed, this is a great way to do it as well. Um, then we have the chicken triangle. So this one you can use either for the high up when you're pulling down or when you're rowing it in this direction. So it'll attach to any of those ones as well. Just a straight bar. Again, you can use that for triceps. You can use it for biceps as well. So that one's awesome. And then we also have this one. It's, it's close to the same as that one, except it's a W. So this just allows you to have different options if you want to go wider or closer. And then it flips to be more ergonomical for your arms as you're doing any kind of lifting with that one. Then there's also the rogue triangle. So this one just has uh, more like a cannonball style at the bottom. So you can use it to hold on for different grip attachments to try that, or you can just do a standard triangle. But working that grip strength is really awesome by using this one for any kind of tricep work that you're doing. And then there's extra handles. So there's the normal handle size, and then there's the extra long one. So just depending on what exercise you're doing, you got different options for length on that one. And then we have the mag advanced grip triangle so this guy you, usually people use it more for the lap pull down but it just gives you a different grip as you're pulling it down this direction so again it just gives you a little ability to add variety into your training but you can also use it for seated rows as well so that one's fantastic and then we have this massive behemoth from rogue so this guy same thing, it just attaches either to the lat pull down or the row, and it gives you a lot of different options for widths that you can do. So as you're pulling it down to your chest, you can go from there or wider or really wide. But the biggest thing is it's gonna make you look super tough and cool because it's huge and awesome. But you can also use it for rowing as well, but it is pretty heavy. So it has some girthiness to it already. So it makes it more of a challenge just even holding it up. So those are all the different attachments we have for the cable machines. Come into the gym and try them out. We'll see you in the gym.